the phrase a hiding to nothing could have been coined for this match. And Kilmarnock set about the task of avoiding such an upset early on. Colin McKee's industry nearly paying off via David Bagan's head. Gordon Russell, the saviour for East Stirling. As the half continued, Killy fans got even more agitated when Grant Ingalls beat the offside trap and then severely tested Lekovic. As some wags were calling for Bobby Williamson to pull on a jersey to show his troops the road to goal, defender Kevin McGowan stepped up to this free kick a minute before the interval. Now the deadlock was broken. A fierce shot that was deflected on its way gave the big man his first goal of the season. That should have encouraged the Killy supporters, but a minute later, booze accompanied their half-time departure. Three minutes after the restart, all was forgiven, and the man deserving the credit was Mark Roberts. Dispossessing the luckless Abercrombie, Roberts brought out the best in keeper McDougall, but the foraging Tom Brown wasn't to be denied. Brown's been used much more often as a sub this term than in the starting lineup, but this, his second goal of the season, couldn't have come at a better time for the home fans. So now 2-0 up and East Stirling, to be truthful, they were now on the ropes and the likelihood of an upset had faded completely. The onslaught continued and two minutes later, keeper McDougall, no doubt the busiest man in the park, punched clear, Colin McKee's effort deflected for a corner. Tom Brown again showed his skills with, inevitably, McDougall picking up more brownie points for the Shire. But in case you think the visitors were permanent campers in their own half, they did venture out occasionally. Substitute Murray Hunter almost causing upset in 72 minutes. At that stage, those in East Stirlingshire's dugout probably felt that 2-0 wasn't that bad a scoreline. But Kilmarnock huffed and puffed for further reward. Brown coming close, setting up the day's best goalmouth scramble. Maybe it would have been charitable if East Stirlingshire had struck at least one in the back of the net and full marks to Martin McBride for starting and finishing a very good move. One that gave Dragos Lekovic his toughest test of the afternoon. So, no fairy tale ending for East Stirlingshire, but Kilmarnock have man of the match Tom Brown to thank for lending some much needed sparkle to an otherwise pretty ordinary performance. <laughs>